hello welcome to our another video in this video we will discuss that how can you maintain a product with batches and expired date this feature has just added to the sale pro and I will show you how can you manage a product with batch and without batch and how can you maintain the expired date of that product okay so first let's create a product with batch okay so I will input a medicine uh, because all of us know that a medicine will have expired date so let's consider a medicine called ACE submit the product code category will be paracetamol ACE the product unit the price the cost and the price okay then you have to check this uh, checkbox that th this product has batch and expired date check it and submit it okay. so here is my product okay so now we have to purchase it uh, to create stock go to the purchase at purchase and select the warehouse type the product name or you can also type the product code and as you can see this two field has added and you have to enter your batch long and expired date also okay so uh, consider 1001 and consider uh, let's say that the expired date is 2013 July 31 okay so if I just add another product which does not have batch and expired date then what will happen let's consider earphone and as you can see this two uh, field for batch strong and expired date is disabled why because they are the earphone product does not uh, has batch and expired date that is the case and that's why this two field has disabled okay so submit okay oh, here we go then now check the uh, stock and uh, the quantity is 10 because I just purchased 10 pieces of ace and as you can see the batch long expired and quantity is showing in the product details pop up okay so let's create another purchase of ace with different batch okay again for warehouse one mm. and it may have a different uh, expired date let's consider August again in that case five pieces submit it let's check it again uh, as you can see the quantity is 15 now and uh, I can easily uh, track my batches from the product details okay now I have to uh, create a sale you can do it either from POS or from the ad sale page okay so uh, I have to select warehouse one because my product stock is for warehouse one okay yes so here is a thing that needs to be explained here batch long 1001 is showing why because uh, we are follow the methodology of first in first out in this example 
this bat 1001 has entered first so by default by default this batch 1001 will be inserted uh, the system will assume that uh, the first batch will be sold first and definitely you can uh, change it okay so what will happen if you type wrong batch number uh, say for example 1003 as you can see wrong batch number the system will not allow it okay so uh, you are bound to uh, uh, type the correct batch number otherwise this system will not allow it and if I select air form uh, this product does not have batch so this uh, field is disabled and you don't have to uh, put your batch number for a product which which inventory does not maintain batch wise now I have to make a finalize the sale the payment with cash in that case and you can also use the quick cash facility and the change has created automatically submit it okay here you as you can see the best now is uh, showing in the invoice so that uh, by uh, very easily you can you can you can notice that which this product is from which batch okay so let's check the stock and let's see if the quantity has de has deducted or not as you can see the quantity has deducted has, de has deducted it was 15 now it is 14 and it has deducted from batch 1001 okay so let let's create another uh, sale for batch 1002 and let's see what happens sorry I have to select warehouse one okay. yes. zero, zero two. Okay. let's check the stock okay the quantity has deduct detected and uh, this uh, sale for one for the for the best on one zero zero two so the point it has deducted has deducted and it is now four so I think it is quite clear that how can you maintain batch and product expired date with sale pro so uh, by adding this feature you can use this software to maintain any kind of inventory like you can now use it for pharmacy uh, you can use it like for restaurant and definitely you can also use this for a super shop so uh, it is uh, now a very dynamic and one-stop solution i hope that you will enjoy this video and if you like this video please uh, from the description link you will find the link of this of this software it is available in code canyon the name of this software is sale pro and please visit the live demo uh, and I hope that uh, you will definitely like it and you will buy a, a license from Code Canyon. Thank you.